Hey, thanks for joining me for another episode here of Roy's Insider Tips. You know, what I like to do is sort of basically bust myths as much as we can around here. And today what we want to do is revisit the topic of is birdshot adequate for home defense? And most people say, no, you need buckshot or you need slugs or you need a machine gun. But I think people tend to overthink it and they tend to get in meltdown mode. So I think we all need to just back up and look at it with an open mind. I will tell you this, based on my experience as a San Diego police officer, I was exposed to a couple of incidents where homeowners used sporting shotguns, you know, similar to this one, which is probably what you have sitting in your gun case somewhere, with number eight birdshot, just good old fashioned dove and quail loads to very effectively repel borders at home. What we're going to demonstrate today is just what happens when you shoot a clean target at reasonable distances using buckshot, number eight shot, and a relatively new load from federal of number one buckshot, which is made especially to keep very tight groups. Now the classic defensive shotgun is like a short barreled riot gun, like this old California Highway Patrol gun. What you get there is with the shorter barrel and the open choke is you'll get a broader spread. So what we're going to show today is that with a full choked sporting shotgun, you'll be surprised at how effective birdshot is at toe touching home distances. As far as it being ultimately safer or not, that's something you have to decide based on your house, your construction there, uh, your ability to think through tactics in a defensive situation. None of these are perfect answers you always will have to compromise one level or another. But at least what you're gonna do after watching this video is have some sense in your own mind what the results might be if you ever had to apply this kind of force. Okay, we're gonna start as sort of a benchmark with a short-barreled cylinder bore, no choke at all, a short-barreled riot gun with standard commercial number eight shot like you'd buy at Walmart to go dove hunting. We're at about five yards away. Okay, this is the same number eight commercial bird shot. Now this is a full choke, pretty common sporting shotgun. Again at five yards, let's see how this goes. Now assuming then that a homeowner will use a gun like this for personal defense at home maybe, we're gonna try double out buckshot in this same sporting shotgun, full choke at the same five yard distance. Let's see what happens. Now this is an interesting load and it's available. This is Federal's new premium tactical number one buck. It's specifically made to keep a tight group when shot from open board police type shotguns. I'm curious to see what this will do from this full choke. I will say at five yards from an open cylinder gun, it pretty much looks like you shot a slug. Uh, let's see what happens now. All right, well, we're done shooting now. Let's take a quick look at what we've learned from this very simple test. The first shot was the short barreled riot gun. This was standard number eight bird shot. You can see that they're very open choke, even at five yards, uh, open the pattern up quite a bit. These are uh, impacts from pieces of the wad. You can actually see where probably the base of the wad hit right here. What I have learned from experience shooting drywall is that this will underpenetrate quite a bit. If you want to say this is a safe load at home, it's probably reasonably safe. In other words, with this kind of spread, you don't get the rat hole wound, and so it tends to underpenetrate. Now, this may still go through two drywall panels and into another bedroom, so you have to be careful. Let's look at the exact same load fired through the over and under sporting shotgun we had with a full choke. Now this truly has what's called the rat hole effect, uh, which means that at this distance, you essentially get this solid clump of lead shot 
uh, that strikes in a pattern about this big. You can see that you actually have to aim very carefully. You don't have the luxury of a large pattern like this, but you do have a very effective pattern. I promise you this is extremely effective. This absolutely will stop someone if you get a good solid center hit on him. And don't ever let anyone tell you that's not the case because I've seen it. All right, let's go down here. This is double out buckshot, the classic police defensive type load. This was fired from that full choke shotgun. What we have here is actually we have a piece of the wad uh, still wedged in there, if you could see it. There it is. And uh, we have a, you can see where a bit of the wad hit over here. Uh, the rest of the pellets are right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably nine there. So there's the nine uh, loads. So you can see really what you're going to get here is a pretty good penetration with those 32 caliber uh, lead pellets. And you also don't have much spread. So you're not really gaining anything other than you're gaining penetration, which you may not want in a home defense situation. What we have here is that new Federal, I've got a box of it right here, it's Federal number one tactical buck. Out of that long barreled full choke shotgun, we've got a really tight group to include what's another, essentially another rat hole type group. Uh, if it were me, especially if I was in an urban environment, I would opt for this. Uh, chances are better that you're not going to be exiting your house with uh, buckshot loads or, or concentrated uh, number one bucks like this. Now remember, you can also follow up. Maybe your first shot is going to be number eight and your next shot is going to be a buckshot load. Those are things you have to think about. You have to look at your own experience, you have to look at your own firearms, look at your own plan for defense, and then incorporate all the knowledge that you have to make the best decisions for your situation. You know, it's easy for you to replicate this kind of uh, result. All you need to do is buy a cross-section of ammunition, find a place you're allowed to shoot, put up some clean cardboard targets like this, and go ahead and do your own shooting with your own shotgun with the ammunition that you choose to use. And then there won't be any doubts. You don't have to read an internet forum or try to watch a TV show or <laughs> believe what I'm saying, as a matter of fact. You can have the results yourself. Just like you saw here, you watched us do it. I think these were pretty predictable in my mind. Would I make a recommendation here? I actually wouldn't just because, like I said earlier, your situation is probably very different from the next guy's. But I think what I would like to do is I would like to recommend that you take this information and learn from it and apply it to your own particular situation. Hey, thanks for tuning in. And remember, don't overthink this kind of stuff. Just let this feed your muse a little bit and learn from it. I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine, and hey, don't forget, when you go shooting, ear protection, eye protection, and remember those four firearm safety rules. Thanks for tuning in.